People like the Zelda games for many reasons. The colourful characters, the sense of adventure, this man's eyebrows. But the most potent aspect of the Zelda series for me is, hands down, the music. Mike Tyson can hit hard, but nothing slaps quite like a Zelda soundtrack. Within the world of Zelda, there is a song that will cradle each and every emotion that your brain is physically capable of experiencing, whether that be despair, elation, loneliness, insert more emotions here. The music within the games has at one point or another explored every corner of the human psyche. Sound, and more specifically music, has this wonderful and at times heartbreaking way of transporting us back to a time we'd left behind us. In the same way that Link traverses time within some of the games, so too do I when I play the games. Whenever I boot up Majora's Mask or Wind Waker or whatever it might be, it's like I've just lowered the Master Sword into the pedestal in the Temple of Time. I'm whisked instantly into the past. If you remember one aspect about a given moment within your life, whether that be a sight, a sound, a smell, whatever, chances are in time you'll forget about that thing. And this is why association is such a powerful tool when it comes to storing information up here and remembering things. If you can remember two or more things about a given event, whether it be a sight and a sound, a smell and a feeling, your brain has more information to cross-reference. And when it does, because it's got more information to go off, the feelings attached to those memories will hit you that much harder. As I've grown up, I've subconsciously associated different moments or periods within my life with different Zelda games, depending on which one I happen to be playing at that given moment. So when I think about earlier memories in my life, more often than not, I was playing a Zelda game at that time. So when I think about those memories, I think about the game. And when I think about the game, I think about where I am in that game. And when I think about where I am in that game, I think about the music that's playing. And that path also goes backwards. So whenever I hear a Zelda song, I travel backwards down that same chain until I eventually arrive at a memory of my younger self. This is essentially the root of nostalgia. And if there's any fan base out there that enjoys the highs and lows that nostalgia brings, it's the Zelda fandom. Link is a young boy trying to find his way in the world. And through his adventures, he eventually ends up overcoming obstacles that at one point seemed impossible to overcome. And through this, he makes the world a happier and a safer place. For most people, at least. There's something in that that spoke to me as a child. The, the, the courage, the want for adventure, the freedom. I think that spoke to well, the spirit of a lot of other young people as well. Match that with the nostalgia invoked by the soundtrack and you've got quite a lethal combination there. No game has sunk its claws into my emotions quite like these have. Sure, Zelda games are a means to explore and escape, but as well as that, they're a vessel that take us back, a, a time capsule. How many times have you heard a Zelda song and you just get this overwhelming surge of emotion that you can't quite explain. There's, there's something intangible about it. For example, whenever I step out of the clock tower for the first time and I'm greeted with this. I don't know what it is. I, I get this warm tingling sensation in my chest. It could be angina, but it feels good but also kind of sad at the same time. I think if you asked a lot of Zelda fans to sum up Majora's Mask in one word, you'd hear melancholy thrown about quite a bit. I think that word almost perfectly sums up Majora's Mask and it's able to deliver that emotional undertone within minutes of you starting the game. And this is thanks in no small part to the music. There are two other songs in Majora's Mask that hit me like a buckshot. And this is the Song of Healing, which although it claims to have the power to heal souls, I feel like it breaks mine. It's, uh, it's, it's heartbreaking. And the second is the Astral Observatory theme. This stupid ass old man and his goddamn telescope have no business making me feel this way. I'm only halfway up the stairs and I'm already in therapy. And by the time I've, you get to the top, you gotta then look at a Deku boy twerking. I am not emotionally prepared for these booty maneuvers right now. Hey, Johnny in the future, put up the Drake meme, but replace Drake with Link. And then at the top, have it saying, uh, you know, discussing your emotions with the boys. And he's like, nah. And then on the bottom, uh, you oh, put the picture of the, the Giga Chad woman from Twilight Princess. Uh, and then it says, discussing your emotions about Majora's Mask with the boys. Not gonna lie, I may have edited that picture slightly, but I think, I think that's pretty fair. Now, whilst we're talking about powerful moments from the franchise in terms of music, I think the most famous example of this is the opening screen for Ocarina of Time. One chord and you've got like a tight grip around the hearts of most 20 to 30 year olds. Hi, Doctor, yeah. Uh, I was just wondering, is it possible to die from nostalgia?
No. Oh, <laughs> brilliant. Okay. Yes, although the opening screen for Ocarina of Time is probably the most famous example of an emotional Zelda music punch, I don't think it's even the most emotionally impactful song from Ocarina of Time. There is nothing in the entirety of the Zelda franchise that hits me as hard as the scene where you learn the Minuet of Forest at the entrance of the Forest Temple. Sheik's theme, along with the famous line, the flow of time is always cruel. It's a little bit, I'm 14 and this is deep, but it often brings a tear to my eye on the occasion that I replay this game. This scene bared little significance to me as a kid, but upon replaying it as an adult, reflecting back on those memories playing this game as a kid, those words, the song that once fell on deaf ears now rings true to me. I understand what Sheik was saying, and I remember it hit me like a ton of bricks. The flow of time is indeed cruel, and my most treasured memories, genuinely, some of my most treasured memories from my childhood was playing Ocarina of Time. And for that brief moment in the game, it's almost as though it's speaking directly to me. Of course it's not, and I'm just self-inserting. <laughs> and you might find that a bit cringe, but it hits hard, man. Now, obviously there is an abundance of emotionally impactful moments within the Zelda franchise, but another one that I do want to give kudos to, that I do want to give uh, an honorable mention to, is Fi's theme from Skyward Sword. And I want to give this kudos over other moments because although this song is associated with one of the slightly uh, less tolerable characters in the world of Zelda, that flute is able to win back the hearts and minds of the players by uh, the end of Skyward Sword. One of the slightly more annoying, dare I say, characters, it's forgotten about. You hear that wistful flute and it's all in the past. That is... Granted that you managed to make it to the end of the game, I know there's probably a lot of people that threw themselves off the nearest bridge because Fee asked them if they know how to open a door properly, but still, you know music is good when it can make you like the dislikable. Why do you think I've been playing background music in this video this whole time? Talking about these games though, they were all examples of music being impactful in, you know, in slightly more sad ways, but the flip side of this is also true. Now that's not to say there isn't happy music within any of those games, because of course there is, but no Zelda game can lift your spirits with its music quite like Wind Waker. Personally, my favorite Zelda game, and man, what a soundtrack. This was also the first time I'd sought out the CD soundtrack of a game. I instantly fell in love with the Archipelagian sounds from the title theme, this rendition of the shop theme, Outset, and Windfall Island. And of course, who could forget the aptly titled Inside a House. Absolute banger. Wind Waker is overflowing with good vibes, and I can understand why some people don't rate it as highly because of the lack of darker themes and visuals, but for me, someone whose main attraction, or one of my main attractions to the Zelda franchise is the music. This for me had some of the best original themes. I felt like it had some of the quintessential versions of some of the reworked pieces as well. This could be to do with the improved audio capabilities of the GameCube over the N64, but this soundtrack, and therefore this game is the one I personally champion as my favorite installment. Of course, this is only one aspect of why Wind Waker is my favorite game, but it's the most important. When I listen to Wind Waker's soundtrack, there is an air of nostalgia, but it lacks that intangible sadness that I get when I play other installments like, you know, Twilight Princess or Majora's Mask. That's not to say they're worse because of it, but you know, when I listen to Wind Waker, it brings me nothing but joy. And who doesn't need a little bit of happy every now and then? That's just me though. What songs from Zelda did you find emotionally impactful? Uh, I am interested to hear if anyone's had similar, if not the same experiences to me. And of course, I'm interested to hear uh, anyone who's had any different uh, experiences. Let me know what songs, uh, you know, hit you right in them feels. I'm, uh, I'm looking forward to reading those. Oh, by the way, did any of you manage to get your hands on the Tears of the Kingdom Collector's Edition? I unfortunately missed the boat on that one, didn't manage to get my hands on a copy, but I did go and check the prices over on eBay and ouch. Uh, yeah, I've already considered selling my neighbor's car. He's gonna be super pissed if I do that, but I'm sure he'll understand. It's for a good cause. Thank you for listening and there will be a Zelda video on this channel every single week, so stick around for that. And in the meantime, take care of yourselves and Bye. Okay, remember, remember I was talking about how impactful the music was. <laughs> Not anymore.